Oh, now he's going to be run to the line. Oh, that was great. That was really good. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Chaz Draycott Media and welcome to another episode of Circuit Superstars. It's been a long time since I've played this game, to be honest with you. I've just started getting back into it again. Over the summer and through the middle of the year, I sort of got involved with the competitive scene of this game, but unfortunately due to other commitments and obviously my commentary work and so on, I just never found the time to be as competitive as I'd like to be on this game. I still don't find that time now even, to be honest with you. I know I'm doing a lot more YouTube stuff and a lot more recording, but it doesn't coincide with when the championships are on and so on. What we're going to do today, though, is just showcase how much fun this game can be on its own or when you're playing on your own. We're going to go into free play. And we're going to organize a championship. Now, I've done this before, as you can see. We've got six races. It's going to be the touring cars on master difficulty. There's going to be 12 drivers, 10 laps, and then we're going to qualify per race in this one. Actually, no, you know what? We're going to qualify once. So that means that you qualify for the first race and then it's championship order reversed on the grid for the next races from then on. 100% tire wear, 100% fuel consumption, damage from opponents and environment is on 50 and drafting is on 100% with lapping collisions turned off. We're going to go to... Ooh, we've got a good selection of circuits, actually. The first track I can remember playing in this game is Copperwood, so we're going to go there. Whistle Valley is one of the first game uh, tracks I remember. Then Sugar Hill, Maple Ridge, Renvort's good, and what was the other one? Yeah, I prefer Magdalena, and then maybe we finish the season. Tilt Spot. This is a very tough circuit to export, so we'll finish the season there, shall we? There's the lovely Road Rebel, one of the later cars in the game. They actually have dirt sprint cars in this now as well. We'll have to do something with them in future. But I just wanted to showcase a little touring car championship and see what fun we can make of this, because it is one hell of a game, this. Let's get on with it. Now, since the last video I did on this game, the sounds, all of these ambient things have all been updated a lot. So I'm not even sure how this is going to record in comparison to previous. I'd hope that it's a bit more optimised than it used to be because we did used to have very jumpy frames over on OBS. Now, I've not got any better at this game, I have to tell you that. I had been practising a little bit, but still not as quick as I used to be on this game. At one point, I was actually quite competitive on it. Maybe not at the top level of the superstars in their own little leagues and championships, but, you know, I was up there. A lot of them actually use keyboards in the top level as well, which is just terrifying. But let's get a qualifying lap on the board, shall we? We've got Daisuke Shimo in front, Nita Intonen and Helena Jovanovic behind. One thing I have noticed recently is that the track rubbers up a lot more quickly. The sort of tyre marks that you get on the surface and the shine from the rubber on the road seems to be a bit exaggerated. It really appears very quickly on the track. Well, that was nice. Skim the wall there. I can never get this corner right. Bit of on and off the throttle, though. We got through there quicker than Daisuke Shimo. Side by side across the line. Oh, that was loud. Looks like pole position, and it is over Adriana Gonzalez, Daisuke Shimo, and Maya Sofa. One thing that's always been good about this game is the music. It's class. There we go. One championship point for getting pole position. That's the only qualifying session we'll have all season, though. Get some experience. That's another screen that has been massively improved, to be honest with you. And as you see, you know, I've not got that much time in this game. I'm only level 86. Some of the top drivers are into the thousands with their levels, I'm pretty sure. Ten laps. Let's see what the strategy's like. I like this little... Gra the, I was going to say graphic, but I like this little animation as well, where it goes down the entire grid. That's really cool. Okay, first race of the season. Let's go. Can we make it a lights-to-flag race? Now, the tyres and fuel are down here on the bottom left of the screen. So I'm going to move my camera so it's up here. It's been a tidy opening start to the lap. I've had a bit of a knock on the wall, though. Only lost one health from it. Now, we need to keep an eye on tyres and fuel. So far, I've used eight of each, nine of each. Ten in terms of fuel on the first lap. So we will actually, technically, on fuel, make it to the end of the race, I think. But that was a standing start on the opening lap, so we might use a bit more in the following laps. Shimo all over us now. A little bit of argy-bargy going on at the hairpin back there. Ah, oh, turning well too early. Oh, now Priya and Maya have both had us off. Oh, don't want to hit that penalty marker, because that's what happens when you hit a penalty marker, Maya. Down the inside of Priya. Oh, 
Oh, argy bargy stuff. Adriano all over the back of us now. Need to keep my eye on the fuel and calculate what we're using. I think we might be able to get to the end without a pit stop in this race. Obviously, the length of the circuits and their abrasiveness on the tyres affects whether you need to pit or not. That's proper touring car racing, that is. There's a lovely little animation sound when you gain or lose places in the races now, like that. Bit of slipstream in there from Adriana helps us get in front of David. He's absolutely mugged us there down the inside. Try not to run him off the road. David Akamanzi, what a name that is. That's a proper racing driver name. Whoa, that curb set his way out. Ah, oh, God, not good. That's Maya giving us a bit of a shove there. This is on master difficulty, and there is a level of difficulty above this. Superstar difficulty. Adriana's hit a penalty marker. That's a freebie. Thank you. Is that fastest lap of the race? No, it's our personal best. Fastest lap is currently by the race leader, Daisuke Shimo. Take a wider entry into that corner on the throttle early. Ah, oh, no, it's not helped. You've got to be smooth on the throttle. It actually makes a difference in this game, which is what would surprise you. You'd think that it's just on or off the throttle, but no, you can be smoother on the throttle, smoother on the brakes. Use the axis of your controller. Just over halfway through the race now, and we have half of our tyres left and at least half of our fuel left. So we can push on until the end without a pit stop, I'm pretty sure. Oh, get off. Oh, down the inside. Oh, I hate that sort of move. But it happens. It just comes naturally with the game, I'm afraid. Nice and tidy through the final corner. Don't get a very good run on the exit. Priya in the slipstream. Wide around turn one. Ah, not good. Oh, I've been mugged there. Priya's gone through. Oh, a bit of contact on the exit. Where is race leader Daisuke Shimo? Absolutely gone is the answer. Oh, is that a move? Sorry, Priya. Thank you. Nice. Yes, let's get turn one right this time. Let's go. Push now, push. Lap eight out of ten. Can we go after race leader? It's so much harder when you're in a fight and in a pack, you know. It, you just lose all idea of momentum. It's so easy to get knocked about and go off the circuit. That felt really nice. Ooh. Personal best. Not surprised either. And that's with the tyres absolutely shattered towards the end of the race. Now, if your tyres get down to zero, it's all right. The car just feels absolutely horrendous and it just floats around everywhere. But if you get to zero fuel, the car just coasts very slowly towards the end. We're going to have definitely enough fuel. Tyres are going to feel like death now. No need for a pit stop, though, at all. It's a solid sprint race to the end. But we're not going to catch the race leader, are we? Tell you what, we're putting in a hell of an effort for it. The tyres are now on zero. Tyres are gone. Look at that, the car's sideways everywhere. Well, it's not a bad start to the season, is it? Not a bad start at all. Second place, Shimo takes the win. God, that is a loud noise when you cross the line. <laughs> that was fun. My finger's killing me because I'm not used to playing it. Look at the indent from the... 21 points to Daisuke Shimo. We've got 17. Some solid XP as well. It's always nice. One thing this game does really well is endurance racing as well. I'll probably record an endurance race at some point and show you just how good that is with fuel strategies and so on. Now look at the grid here. We're going to be starting second from last on the left-hand side of shot there. Let's go. Daisuke Shimo starting behind us now. Adriana in front. We're going to send it up the inside into turn one, get straight on with the job. Gained a place, gained two places as David's got a slowdown. Still ghosted because he's on the inside of us. So we need to remember who's in the championship fight with us. David's still a ghost in the middle of this. Oh, big hit there by Adriana. Look at these freebies. Thank you. And this can get messy. Yep, it's got messy. Luckily, when people cut down the inside there and hit that bollard, they ghost through you almost instantly. We're already up into sixth place at the end of the first lap. And inside. This is dangerous because of that penalty marker. And it worked, though. It wasn't too dirty, but it worked. Oh, there's a big shunt behind us there. Some big shenanigans going on in the background. Okay, second place, fastest lap. Chasing down Nita Intanen. It's 
funny actually in the test that I did previously I did it a day or so ago Nitto was actually the AI that was the fastest so I'm not sure if the AI randomised in speed but Nitto eventually won the test race that I did oh no there's what happens when you get a track limits penalty you hit them ballards hard enough and you get slowed down for a second and a half I'm really concentrating here otherwise I'll be looking at the camera and talking to you a bit more but I'm really sorry this is hard work although right now we're wedging our little touring car into the back of Nitter's car waiting for some movement oh got slipstream yes yeah, lovely down the inside nice that'll do Okay, right, let's try and run with it. Now, will we need to pit in this race? Not at all, by the look of it, because we're on lap 5 out of 10 already. And we've not used anywhere near half of the tyres and fuel yet. I really like this circuit. It's one of my very favourites. One of my first ones that I remember actually playing online with my brother and a few friends. I've already done some videos on this game, if you haven't seen before, though. I'll put... I don't think I've actually made a playlist for it, to be honest with you, but I may make one and then put a link to it somewhere. This is going well, though, at the moment, isn't it? Nice and smooth on the throttle around there. Like I said in the first race, you don't have to be on and off the throttle fully all the time. You can give it half throttle when you need to and be smooth. I was hoping this reverse grid race would be a bit more of a challenge, but this one's gone very well for us at the moment. Where are our championship rivals? Priya Haldar was quite high, wasn't she? Priya's third at the moment. David Akamanzi's done the fastest lap. Can't see Daisuke Shimo at the moment. Not in the top four anywhere on the left-hand side of the screen. Look how rubbered in the circuit is, though. Look at the shine from the rubber that's down on the track and how black the curbs have gone. It would take about 50 laps in some of the older versions of the game for it to get like that. And I kind of preferred it the old way. Onto the last lap here. Plenty of tyres, plenty of fuel... We're looking good. Not the most lively or entertaining race, but still. We'll take a victory. Second round of the championship, a second and a first. Good track record so far. Nice. That's one thing I wish it would do. It doesn't show you the full gaps for the field, actually, unless they finish within a certain amount of time of you. And there you go. We have a championship lead of six points now over Shimo and Haldar in third, one point ahead of Akamanzi. So they're the ones we need to keep our eye on. Big XP for that one. Next race, then Sugar Hill. Now, those S's there can cause some very big accidents. So, on the first lap, we're going to take it nice and easy up there. And I'm not going to put myself in any danger. There we are at the back. Okay. Let's roll. Remember, no risks, no danger on the first lap. Just take it easy, see what the AI do. They're going to hold each other up. This is where the S's can be dangerous because all it takes is for somebody to bounce off one of the walls. Great circuit, this. I think it's basically Watkins Glen. Thank you. That worked out some way. Look at the whole field here. Only one penalty in all of that. And it was Adriana. Maya's on the grass. David's on the grass as well. We're going to push down the inside. Oh, and Daisuke Shimo's got a penalty. Oh, oh my goodness me. That was Maya having a massive accident. Priya in front now as well. Another championship rival. Mugged off. Oh, four wide. I think we've got away with that. Wow. This is a very bunched up race. Priya's back down the inside. Michael Pelletzola gets a penalty. Farid Hashim up there with Chris Murphy. Oh, this is dangerous. This is where accidents happen. Oh, we got away with that. Somehow Kenny didn't go bouncing off the wall really hard. Oh, Chris headbutts the barrier. Priya, down the inside, go, push. Oh, <laughs> bump and run. I don't condone that really online. Give Priya the place back by running wide. Don't compromise ourselves too much. Wow, this is a busy race. Oh, Priya, well, you did that to yourself. All over the back of Farid now. Bit of a rub, through we go. All right, it's Yelena Ivanovic at the front. The respectful thing is to just keep tapping the brakes and not run into the car in front. It's like drifting. You're the car that's in control of whether you're making contact or not. Just feather the brakes, on and off the brakes. Just don't make contact with the car in front. Get the slipstream, make the run. Thank you, Yelena. Lovely. Back into the lead. Only just, though. feel like we're going to get mugged here. 
And we have been. Uh, oh, no turn. Right, lap six out of ten. Second place, Priya's right behind us again now, so we need to get on with this. Uh, the racing is great in this game, though. It's so much fun. Because it's, oh, no. Like, proper close touring car racing. Oh, Priya's managed to get the lead through that. That's my bad. My bad, Yelena. Yes, you're an ambulance. Oh, that was naughty. Felt like it needed to be done, though. We need to try and beat Priya. We've got the championship lead, though, so don't need to push too hard. I think just... Uh, not risking too much. That's the thing around the outside. No, it's not going to work. The cutback is a wonderful thing in this game as well, actually, I have to tell you. I wasn't looking where I was going. It's too busy being vain and looking at the camera. Oh, that's a move. Ah, uh, Michael's in third now. Oh, flat around there, not good. Not long left now to beat Priya. Oh, it dug on the inside then and dragged me inwards. A bit of a <laughs> bit of contact. Send. Ah, oh, didn't work. That's what I mean though, the cutback is very valuable. Right, one more lap and I've messed that up. Can't see any more of our championship rivals around us though, so we're going to have a healthy lead after this. Priya might take a point or two out of us, but I don't mind it too much. Oh, I'm trying not to push out of the way. This is so close. Can we get some sort of cutback? No, we're not going to do it. Good race that though. Very entertaining. Second place. I'm happy with that. 54 points to 46, then a 10 point gap now to Shimo. So the championship's looking a little bit safer at the halfway point. Big XP. Ooh, nearly leveling up. Now to Maple Ridge. Now this may require a pit stop, this, because it's a longer circuit. One of my very favorites in the game. A lot of people don't like Maple Ridge. I don't know why. I think it's great. Really tough track. Probably why people don't like it. All right, here we go. Then starting from the back again. The first corner here really, really is satisfying. And this section where you go one way, then the other into a hairpin, and then into another hairpin. There's a lot of argy bargy battling goes on here. We need to push on and get on with it. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> oh, Priya's been really held up there. Around the outside of Maya. Oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> what was all that? Well, Shimo's got a penalty. Priya's right behind us somehow. Managed to be right near our championship rival and everybody else is still piling in behind. Look at that. All right, when the field gets a little bit more spread out, it becomes a bit more sedate. Whoa. That could have been a big one now. Priya's going to be down the inside. I had to hit the brakes then. Oh, I'll try not to lean on Chris. Down the inside, Priya goes through as well. Oh, my God, that was a big hit. It's great for us because that means we've got more of a championship lead. But that was a massive shunt for Priya. Big send down the inside. Ah, didn't work. Uh, I think we might be all right here on tyres and fuel. Again, the 100% wear and usage seems to just be about right for these races. Come on. Can't go around the outside there. Priya's still in this race, though, just behind us. And now Priya's overtaken us. How's that happened? That was really sneaky. Oh, no. Oh, I put Kenny in the wall there. That wasn't good. Went to lap five. And... Oh, I don't know whether we're going to be all right to the end on fuel, you know. We might have to try and fuel save here. And by fuel save, I mean be, like, very smooth on the trigger. But it doesn't seem to be helping me at the moment. I think as long as we... I was going to say, as long as we can complete this lap and still have more than 50% fuel, we might be all right. And as we go over the line, it ticks down to 49. Priya having another shunt in the wall there. David having a shunt in the wall as well. I'm just like half on the trigger around here. I'm really trying to fuel save. Because you can fuel save in this game. That's the beauty of it. You can apply real-life strategies by being smooth on your tyres, smooth on your fuel as well. 
There you go, I saved one fuel on that lap because we're now on 40 as we come across the line. And we're still with Priya and Michael. Don't need to push actually hard enough to win this race now because the championship lead we've got have been so elegant on the trigger and obviously it's not something you can even see from where you're watching because the controller's under my desk. Ah! Shimo back with a vengeance. There we go, 32 fuel. 31 over the line. Right, we should be all right now. Push Priya. To be fair, we could probably let Shimo go as well. Oh, we're not got much choice by the look of it. All right. Try and outdo Michael. It's not going to work with saving fuel, though. Two laps to go. Oh, I was wide there for some reason. Very hesitant to turn in. 18% fuel. Oh, wow, that's not going to help. Oh, hello, that's an incident. Oh, no. Well, I was hoping we could benefit from that. Come on, Michael. Thanks, mate. All right, one more lap. 13 fuel, four tyres. Tyres are going to feel like death on this last lap, but we can push now because we've got the fuel. Look how black that kerb is with rubber. We shouldn't lose too much in terms of the championship lead here anyway, so fourth place will be all right. You do have to still be careful, though, because look at that. We're going to cross the line on literally th two fuel at the end. So all of that fuel saving only amounted to a tiny bit. Yelena wins. Priya second. Daisuke third. Four points now, the difference. Wow. Okay, so the point system really has done us over there. So Priya's only four points back. We're going to level up, which is nice. Level 87. Cheers. Two races to go. Magdalena next. That hairpin's a nightmare on this track, watch. There's going to be a huge check up there, and there's going to be a lot of cars stopped dead. Oh, I just skipped the thing by accident. Oh, well. So we need to make sure that we're beating Priya in these races, because I think the difference from first to second is actually six points. There's the check up. Wow, not as many penalties as I thought. It gets even messier down here, though. Watch the penalties here. Yep. A few cars bouncing in and out. Uh, it's like NASCAR around there. Right, slipstream. Push. Push. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yes. Proper touring car racing. Push. Oh, Shimo's on a mission. Or he was. Well, we're up into second. That's a good, good opening couple of laps, that. I'll take that. We're not going to need to pit here at all. Well, we've got this one in the bag, mate. Oh, God. No, I'm not. <laughs> oh, no. Try not to hit Adriana out of the way. Oh, Shimo down the inside. You've done it again. Deja vu the previous lap. Great send down the inside, but ends up flying over that curb bit in the middle. Oh, got a bit wide there. Shimo's down the inside. Uh, is there a gap? Hello. Sneak through. Oh, no, I've turned in well early. I've, you've got to turn in really early for that corner, and I always do it way too early. Oh, that really unsettled my car. Oh, now Gonzalez has piled into us. Nearly hit the bollard. Oh, Shimo's hit it. Good. All right, let's get a nice run down here, shall we? Don't clip the grass. Uh, you can kill your momentum really easily by hitting that grass. Flipping out, we've got to run. Talk about killing momentum. We had loads of it. This is so much fun. Oh, David, what was that, mate? Oh. Now, you can clip the bollards and get away with it. You can just about touch them. But I think it's when you hit them with the slightly solid front end of the car, like you've really cut the corner. That's when it catches you out. I think we've maybe got the championship with this one. I can't see Priya anywhere inside the top four. Is there a way of getting the scoreboard up all the way? I seem to remember there was. I can't remember what it is now. You can't reposition. Oh, God. That's steering left and right, Chas. There was a way you could bring the scoreboard up, I thought. The whole thing. Rather than just, like, the few around you. Or am I thinking of breakfast? Might be thinking of breakfast. We're actually under pressure here. Hang on. Daisuke's name's disappeared. Oh, right. There's a thing you can do there. There you go. Made the names disappear and then reappear. Right, while I'm faffing about with buttons, I've put myself in danger here. 
We're actually in a battle for the lead. I love that section. It's one of my favourite sets of corners in the game, that is. There's certain corners where when you get used to them, you can just... It feels amazing when you get it right. It may only be on a controller. Get off the grass. But it's do it just does feel mint. Ah! Oh, no. I was on the throttle really early then. We're on lap nine, and I've messed it up. Get back here. Oh, Priya's now inside the top four. We're going to get Daisuke on the slipstream here. Watch this. Great that such a cute little game's got such good slipstreaming physics, although uh, it's not worked. Oh, I didn't want to do it. Oh, I've messed it up anyway. Side by side. Gone deep. One more corner to go. Oh, no, he's muscled me out of the way. Oh, no, he's going to be a run to the line. Oh, that was great. That was really good. This is what I mean, though, about the AI. The racing is fantastic. When you get it matched with the difficulty that you're at, it's really good fun. Really good fun. 83 points to 76. Does that mean we've won it? No, no, it doesn't. Does it, heck, Chaz? You can win, like, 20 summit points in a race. I think if we finish second, at least, we've won this. Because I think the difference is six points. From first to second, that is. And we're seven points clear. Last round, then, at Tilt Sport. Here we go. Right, down the inside of Priya straight away. Oh, we got a shove there. Put us on the back foot a little bit. I'd be really interested to see how far I can not get on Superstar difficulty, which is one difficulty higher than this. The career mode has you racing all sorts of different cars at different levels. I say the career, it's Grand Prix mode. It puts you in preset championships in all the different cars. Priya gets a penalty. Everyone gets a penalty. There's the Oprah meme. Well, you've got a penalty. <laughs> oh, this is messy. Oh, Kenny. Maya. Yes, Priya gets a penalty. That puts us in championship winning position. Although we've used 15 fuel and tyres ish I think we used about 14 maybe 13 in the first lap so we might have to pit here oh god whoa contact get off the grass we don't need to push too hard now because we're ahead of Priya and that's the main thing but I just can't remember what the gap is to some of them behind us so I don't want to risk losing a big stack of points to somebody that might be in third or fourth in the championship that could eventually beat us. Big send on Fareed. Sorry, mate. Like the circuit a lot, you know. Another cool thing about the circuits in this game is that there's multiple layouts of each one as well. You can have the reverse layouts. Some of them have, like, a Grand Prix circuit and a club circuit, like a shorter version. Up into fourth place now. Doing all right. End of lap three. And, yeah, we've used 61% of our tyres and 60%... Uh, sorry, we've used 41% of the tyres and 40% fuel in just three laps. So we will be pitting side by side for the second and third. Shimo out in front. Shimo won the first race. He's now out in front in the last race. Big send on Adriana. Thank you. That's third. Now, when do we pit? Do we pit now at the halfway point? Because I know we're pitting as well. I can just rag the throttle, rag the tyres, and go for it. Can't see Priya. Oh, I've gone well too deep there. Clip that kerb and it drags the car in as well. You can see it go slightly sideways. I think I'm going to pit this time round. I'm going to try and save a bit of time. Oh, Shimo's in. Everyone's in. Okay. Now, if you hasn't seen the pit stops before, watch this. I'm going to take full service. I couldn't do the maths and figure out what we needed and what we didn't, so we're just going to go with a full service. So we're in third, effectively, now. Second. Ah, <laughs> uh, Bad line into there. 
Oh, whack. Oh, down the inside and across. Didn't work. Now Helena's mugged me. Look at the racing there. This is with an AI. It's so good. There's Kenny Davis. There's Priya. Priya coming out of the pits now. It's still a long way to go down the pit lane as well. So as long as we finish basically where we are now, we're all right. I do really want to win the final race. We've still got three laps to go, though, so I think I can do it. Definitely quicker than Shimo. Definitely just quicker than the AI in general. I'm definitely not quicker than the... What happened there? I'm definitely not quicker than the Superstar AI, but I'll definitely do some races against them. If this is enjoyable to watch, I'll continue on and do some more episodes. Maybe even an endurance race. That was supposed to be me saying maybe even an endurance race against the AI. On Superstar difficulty, that would be as well. So, you know, strategy might have to be something that we try and play into our hands instead of just out and out pace. Got down the inside. There it is. And there it goes. <laughs> Elena's just there waiting for the mistake. That mistake. Priya is now behind us in terms of position, but still quite a distance back. And we're on to the penultimate lap of the race. Oh, I deserved that. We're in third, one lap to go. I don't think a win is on the table. Unless I have a demon final lap, but I don't think that's on the cards. Let's have a nice little send down the inside into turn one. It's compromised us a bit for turn two and three, though. Yep. Ah. Uh, come on. I don't want to make a dirty move of this to win the race, but I really want to win this last race. Hey, oh, hey, oh, we've got to run here. We've got to run. Going to go for it. Park it on the apex. Yes. Now we've got the inside line for these next two. Yes, I think that's it. Just tidy final corner. Yes, gets in. Championship and race win. I <laughs> love it. What excellent fun. And this is just against AI. I've not done anything special to set this up. This is just how the game is. It's an absolute riot. 104 points to 88 in the end. A very impressive win, I'd say. But that's all from my little AI touring car championship here on Circuit Superstars. If you enjoyed that, though... I've got some good news for you because I plan on hosting an event using these settings but with 125% fuel usage and tyre wear so pit stops will be in all races and I'm going to try and host that soon so look out for an announcement around that because it could be a lot of fun and it would be great to get some people together to do it. There would be a limit on entries of 12 people but I'm sure we can always do another event another time. I've won some, I've won I should say, some cool stuff for levelling up. And I'm going to go and play more of this. But thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And I will see you again very, very soon. <laughs>